I couldn't help but find her beautiful and sexy. She was actually, even a blind man could tell that Riley was a looker. Sleek, dirty blonde hair, dark brown eyes, natural peach lips, beautiful smile and a body to die for. Even though she was starved for most of her life, it didn't stop her body from developing in the most amazing way. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I really don't think so. You think that's sexy, do you? What is wrong with some guys? I'm not here to judge these people and what they're into, but damn, that's a new one. All right, everybody, men riding women. I hope you're ready. Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing great. Thank you for tuning back in and welcome to some more men riding women. Thank you guys for being here once again. I really appreciate it. You guys rock. All right, let's go. I just downloaded a woman translator so I can understand you more. Let's give it a try. I saw Tanya with a cute bag today. She's so pretty. Hmm, she probably wants the same bag. Uh, that bag was ugly and she's a biatch. Oh no, and that's not a joke. That makes me sad. <laughs> if she said that she was really cute and she had a nice bag and she was so pretty, why would she actually mean that she was ugly? I feel like a lot of guys just assume that all girls just secretly hate each other. <laughs> and like you have to decode everything they say because they never actually say what they mean. Um, no dude. One of the greatest epiphanies of my lifetime was realizing that I disliked so many female characters because they were created by men who didn't like women. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like, you don't hate them. You hate the character that they made. Like, it sucks, but when you realize that, it's like, no. <laughs> it was the awful writers all along. Natural bust enlargement with total mind power. How to use the 90% of your mind to increase the size of your breasts. Oh my god, what? <laughs> so you just focus really hard. I want bigger boobs. I want bigger boobs. I want bigger boobs. And with the power of the brain, <laughs> they magically get bigger. That is outstanding. She'd been called beautiful by men, but blew that off as post, you know what, Y chromosome myopia. She was at best attractive. Occupying a body assembled of flat planes rather than curves. Too broad at the shoulders, too narrow at the hips. Both of which served to de-emphasize her small waist. She was light years from centerfold territory. Speaking of which, her breasts. At 14, she'd flattered herself by rating them perky figuring at some point they'd blossom into lush. At more than double that age, she'd come to celebrate perky. Oh, what am I reading? Her eyes were wide set, but plain wrapped brown. She was especially amused when more than one man claimed to discover tiny flecks of gold floating near her pupils. Try as she might, she never found them. What? <laughs> this comment saying a body assembled of flat planes rather than curves makes her sound like a PlayStation 1 character. And also, obviously, the part about her being 14, not cool. And I don't think if you're writing a book, you ever need to say, speaking of which, her breasts. Like, oh yeah, speaking of which, her boobies. That does not need to come up in conversation. <laughs> oh, this stuff is so gross. This just reads super angrily as well. It's an entire paragraph of a guy just talking crap about a woman's body. How does this add to the story? You're just venting. Okay, men writing about childbirth. Lily dropped her pole and ran in the opposite the direction to the others. She could not see where Duan, Duan had gone, but no one was taking any notice of her. She ran and ran until after some distance she felt a stabbing pain in her stomach. She collapsed behind a sand dune and fainted. There she remained until long after nightfall, when she woke to what in her confusion sounded like the cries of a baby. Her mind fog. she wondered if she might in fact have passed into the afterlife, but the wails were getting louder. With a sudden jerk, she felt something warm but between her legs. There was a break in the snow and a bright round moon peered from behind the clouds. She was awake now and her chest was heaving with heavy sobs. Her baby was born. She sat up and took the baby into her arms. A boy, still crying, she bit through the umbilical cord <laughs> and wrapped him tight to her bosom. His eyes shone in the moonlight beneath two thick eyebrows. His cries were strong and carried far. Yeah, like this comment says, that's not a man writing childbirth, it's a man avoiding 
avoiding to write childbirth. Birth is, uh, let me see. Oh god, ew, I can't write that. What to do, what to do. Oh yeah, she'll pass out and give birth while unconscious. That's brilliant. No blood and no pain. Yeah, 100%. Like, this guy just had no idea how to write it. <laughs> so he was like, okay, she just was unconscious. Easy fixed. <laughs> and yeah, it'd be pretty awesome if it was that easy, wouldn't it? No contractions, no nothing. The baby just like fell out. That one wasn't good by any means, but we've read a lot worse. What Men Don't Like About Women by Thomas D. Horton, 1939. Their movie manners, their girlishness at the concert hall, their contempt for the art of walking, um, women as drinkers, their incompetence, their invariable choice of expensive drinks, their fraudulent connoisseurship, their lack of control when under the influence of liquor, their troublemaking, women as friends' wives, their significant appraisal, their impudent probing, their fear of their husband's male friends, their love of espionage, their employment of friends as post officers. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> their employment of friends as post offices, their jealousy and inconsiderateness, their means of fortifying their marriage. Oh my god, imagine writing like basically an entire book <laughs> about things you don't like about women. Sure, you're a lovely guy. <laughs> this is like something a nice guy would write. You should be smart enough to realize that if you're just sitting there complaining about what women do, that's not going to do you any good, dude. Think about the stuff that you might do wrong. You know, what's the old saying? You should only focus on the stuff that you can control. Like, this is just whining for no reason. Is this like a really in y thing from the 1930s? Others played around with sex, but the girls who did were considered loose and were not respected. Virginity was still in style for males and females. Occasionally, a girl came up pregnant, but she was packed off in a hurry and I never knew where she went. Homosexuals were very weird and unusual people. I heard there were a few around, but I didn't know them personally. And then it says most of my friends respected their parents and it goes on and on and on. What? A book from the late 80s on parenting. Lots of subtle misogyny and homophobia. Ah, oh, it's awful and it would have been awful back then, but I guess it just shows how far we've come. Well, nah, sorta, of, because like, there's definitely still people that think like this, so I don't know. <laughs> I tried to say something positive. Dale could only stare. Michelle Staffney had been their little sex grenade of his fourth, fifth and sixth grade classes at Old Central School. Every boy in Elmhaven during the period 1957 to 1960 had probably celebrated his first erotic fantasies with Michelle. In grade four? Are you joking, man? You don't go near the opposite sex when you're in grade four. You're still scared of each other. There's none of that crap going on. What are you talking about? I would have been terrified of girls when I was in grade four. How old are you in grade four? Like, young as. Is that what they mean by that? That you were thinking like that in grade four? Dude, I wasn't thinking anything when I was in grade four. Okay, so apparently this guy is talking about peeing. Once the target has been locked in, the compact urinary jet of the female, unlike the helter-skelter garden hose of its male counterpart, can fire with almost pinpoint precision. I don't think that's true, is it? I'm not a woman and I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a pinpoint precision. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure it's a helter skelter garden hose type situation for everybody. Wind nipped at her ankles. She probably should have put on socks and a pair of slacks, but two and a half men was gonna come on in less than five minutes. And the god darn TV was stuck on CNN. If Bob had been there, she would have asked him to change the channel manually. There were buttons for that somewhere, probably on the back, where only a man could find them. What, you think a woman can't turn off a TV? Oh no, two and a half men's about to start and CNN is stuck on the TV. I'm holding this remote, but I just don't understand what it does because I'm a woman and apparently I don't understand anything. I really wish Bob were here so he could change the channel for me. Like, what the hell are you on about? Ridiculous. Okay, that's enough for today. You guys know what time it is. We got you something. I love it. I'm gonna share it with everyone. Wait, so is that your lungs giving oxygen to your heart? No. <laughs> How beautiful. I love the fact that my lungs and my heart are the best of friends. Even the inside of me's wholesome. Please wait for validation. You are doing the best you can. <laughs> Aww. Card declined. <laughs> Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. That was some more men writing
stabbing women for you. Were you terrified? Smash subscribe. Okay, today's comment of the day goes to Tomato Goose. I was going to get up and do things, but this is more important. Tomato Goose, I know exactly how you feel. Thank you so much for watching my videos. It really means the world to me. This is my dream job. I'm having the time of my life making these videos, and I'm not going anywhere. Have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. Have a wonderful night, and just look after yourself. Make yourself a nice dinner. Watch some Simpsons. Just treat yourself. You deserve it. I'll see you tomorrow.